ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಟುಡೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಫೈ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಮಮ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಬ್ಸ್ so as to minimize the total elapsed time between the completion of first and the last jobs or else simple words you can tell this particular way sequencing is a selection of best sequence of processing so as to reduce the overall time or total elapsed time definitely sequencing reduces overall time which in turn we can produce more number of components or parts as a result productivity is improved definitely if productivity is improved then we can expect good income coming to the types of numericals we have four different types of numericals in this the first type is n jobs on two machines the second one is n jobs on three machines and the third one is n jobs on m number of machines wherein when it comes to the fourth type it is a graphical method we have m number of jobs on n number of machines in order to solve sequencing problem you should uh, know this uh, assumptions the first one is only one job can be processed at given time the second one any operations once started it should be completed till the end the third one job shifting time is negligible and the fourth one all jobs are known and ready to start processing at any time the fifth one machines of different types but only one of each type and the sixth one order of completion of jobs are independent of the sequence of jobs so you need to remember all these points while solving the different types of problems so coming to the first type n number of jobs and two machines in sequencing the first problem is a machine operator has to perform two operations turning and threading on a number of different jobs the time required to perform these operations are given so this is the table which is clearly given determine the best sequence comma total minimum elapsed time and the ideal time on each mission coming to the solution in order to solve this problem you need to remember three steps okay the first one find out the best sequence the second one rewrite the given table for the best sequence obtained and the third one calculate the required parameter here the required parameters are total minimum elapsed time as well as the ideal time on the each machine coming to the step 1 find out the best sequence so in order to do this depending upon the number of jobs you write down the number of boxes so now i have six number of jobs so i have written six boxes here 1 2 3 4 5 6 proceeding further so find out the minimum value in these two columns the first minimum value is 1 so this one belongs to the machine 2 job number 6 so i write down this side so first preference given to be to this particular job number 6 on machine 2 eliminate this particular next you just check the minimum value in these two columns it is 2 2 is on machine 1 and job number 4 so i will write down this side so this should be machine 1 and that should be machine 2 for this you should write down in this right side direction 
for machine to to be written in left side direction so after writing thus eliminate thus find out the next least value you can make a note here we have 3 here as well as 3 here since the same value is clashing and one point you need to keep in mind these two value are a different machine so you need not to worry about you can write this first or this first if you write this first so i am writing 3 belongs to job number 1 on machine 1 so i will write down this side so this is gone and somewhere coming to this one so 3 belonging to job number 5 on machine 2 so i will write down this side so if it is on different machines not and worry you can just take down next coming to the next least value is 5 this 5 belonging to machine 1 job 3 so i will be writing here and eliminate this one next the left vote is only this particular 2 so i will write down this 2 this is the best sequence of time next for the second step we need to rewrite the given table for the best sequence here it was 1 2 3 4 5 6 for the next step you need to write down the same order that is 4 1 3 2 5 and 6 so that is step 2 rewriting the table 4 1 3 2 5 6 so earlier this was the given table 1 2 3 4 5 6 order so we have found out the best sequence and i have written this next whatever the value we have in 4 for machine 1 and 2 just copy down have a look 2 and 6 i will just copy down this side for 1 we have 3 as well as 8 and for third job we have 5 and 9 next for second one we have 12 and 10 and for fifth one we have 9 and 3 and for sixth one we have 11 and 1 so this is a new table obtained further we shall go to the third step so this was step 2 so that is I have written this for a best sequence 4, 1, 3, 2, 5, 2, 6 and this was the durations it is directly copied from the table 1. Next for a step 3 what you need to do is the machine 1 is split to the two columns that is in as well as out. Similarly machine 2 is split in and out. So proceeding further initially we will start up with zero time so say the machine one is on next to complete this fourth number of job in machine a it takes two hours so zero plus two is two next the same two to be taken input to the second machine next this job number four takes six hours in machine b so two plus six is eight so now the job number 4 is done in the both the machines. Next coming to the job 1. So machine 1 was busy till 2 hours. So I will take 2 hours as an input. Next it takes 3 hours for job 1 in machine A. So 2 plus 3 is 5. Next after 5 hours completion if I feel like providing to the next machine that is machine 2. The machine 2 is busy till 8 hours. So I need to wait for 8 hours. So after that directly I will take 8 hours because though it is completed I can't just give because machine 2 is busy till 8 hours. Next 8 hours plus this 8 it was 16. Proceeding further. So I will copy down this 5. Next coming to job 3. 5 plus 5 is 10. So 10 and 16. So after you should check this job is completed at 10 hours but machine 2 is busy till 16 hours. So I will copy down this 16. Next 16 plus 9. It is 25. Next copy down the same 10 here. 
go to this job number 2 so it takes 12 hours so 10 plus 12 it is 22 next have a look 22 and 25 comparing these two 25 is greater i will write down this because machine base busy till 25 hours next 25 plus 10 hours it is 35 next further copy the same 22 here so go to the job number 5 so it takes 9 hours 22 plus 9 it is 31 comparing these two again 35 is greater it means till 35 hours the machine bay is busy 35 plus 3 it is 38 next copy down the same 31 hours Next 31 plus 11 it is 42 hours. Have a look. So we have 42 here and 38 here. It means the machine B is free after 38 hours. But machine 1 is still processing the job number 6 for 42 hours. So there is no other go. We need to wait till the completion. Next after 42 hours only the machine 2 can be started. So I will write down the same 42 here. Next 42 plus 1 it is 43. So this 43 obtained is total minimum elapsed time. This is the one we have calculated. Next in order to calculate the ideal time on each machine. Add whatever the total time on machine A. So adding all these two. All these value we have 42 next adding all these value we have 37 in order to calculate the total that is the ideal time on each machine you need to just take a difference between these two okay so that is ideal time on machine a is equal to 43 minus 42 it is 1 hour. Next, similarly for machine B, 43 minus 37. That is 43 minus 37. It is 6 hours. So this completes your problem.